Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this new video, we're going to talk about what IC engines are and how they operate. Do you love traveling in cars, bikes, etc.? Well, we bet you do. Have you ever wondered how the motorized beast that you travel on truly works? Just like how our brains play a central role in the functioning of our body, an engine plays a central role in the functioning of any motor vehicle. Without a fully functioning IC engine, any vehicle or machinery would not be able to perform its function. Therefore, to understand how a vehicle operates, one must have a clear understanding of how IC engines operate. Do you know what an IC engine is? We know that combustion is a chemical process in which the burning of an air fuel mixture releases energy. Based on where the combustion process takes place, engines have been classified as internal combustion engines and external combustion engines. Just as the name suggests, an internal combustion engine is a type of engine in which the combustion process takes place inside the engine itself in a confined space called the combustion chamber as shown in the figure. On the other hand, there are engines in which the combustion process takes place outside the engine and such engines are called external combustion engines. Without knowing the terms associated with IC engines, we won't be able to understand their operation properly, don't you agree? You must have heard of the Bugatti Veyron, which is hailed as one of the fastest street legal cars ever made. Did you know that it has an 8000cc engine? What does it mean? To understand more about engines, we must understand the terms related to it. Hence, without further ado, let's move to it. Let's start with the most basic terms, top dead center and bottom dead center. From the animation, we can observe that the piston reaches a topmost position before moving down to its lowest position. After this, the piston moves towards its topmost position again. This topmost position of the piston is called top dead center and the lowest position of the piston is called the bottom dead center. The distance between the top dead center and the bottom dead center is called stroke. When an engine is said to be of 8000 cc, it means that the total volume of the engine cylinder is 8000 cubic centimeters. This total volume is the sum of clearance volume and swept volume. What do you understand about clearance volume? Let's have a good look at this animation. When the piston is at the top dead center, we can see some vacant space between the top of the piston and the cylinder head. The volume of this vacant space is known as clearance volume. As you have seen, the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center and vice versa. The volume swept through by the piston during this movement is called swept volume. Without a known value of diameter, it's not possible to determine the engine's volume. This internal diameter of the engine cylinder is called the bore. The terms that we've discussed so far are not the only terms which affect the engines. For example, a 998cc engine might have a higher efficiency than another 998cc engine. This difference in engine performance is the result of a different compression ratio. What exactly is the compression ratio? As the piston reaches the top dead center, some vacant space is left between the TDC and the cylinder head. The volume of the space is called clearance volume, right? The ratio of total volume of the cylinder to this clearance volume is known as the compression ratio. We know that most of the vehicles today operate on IC engines and hence it's imperative for us to understand the operation of IC engines, don't you agree? Initially, the piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center. The inlet valve opens and the air or air fuel mixture is allowed to be sucked in the engine cylinder. The exhaust valve remains shut. When the piston reaches the BDC, the inlet valve is closed and the piston starts moving from bottom dead center to top dead center. As a result, the air or mixture is compressed and the maximum pressure is reached when the piston is close to the TDC. When the piston is very close to TDC, the combustion process is initiated inside the combustion chamber. For spark ignition engines, a spark plug generates a spark and starts a combustion of the air fuel mixture. For compression ignition engines, fuel is injected or sprayed through a nozzle. As the combustion is initiated, gases are generated inside the combustion chamber which results in a significant increase in pressure inside the chamber. Because of this increasing pressure, the piston is pushed down from the TDC to the BDC. When the piston reaches the BDC, the exhaust valve is opened while the intake valve remains shut. As the exhaust valve is opened, the piston starts moving from BDC to TDC again. As a result, the exhaust gases inside the combustion chamber are pushed out via the exhaust valve. Once the piston reaches the TDC, C, the exhaust valve is closed and the inlet valve is reopened, thus starting a new cycle of the process. Well, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching our video on the introduction of IC engines and their operation. We'll be back soon with the classification of IC engines, their components and their functions. So until then, stay tuned and stay safe. Bye.